Yes, guys, welcome back. Tonight, I'm on my own. All busy. And I'm going to try Taste of China. So guys, I got a Singapore chow mein that costs six pound fifty. It's got bits of beef, pork, chicken, and then I got salt and pepper chips. Salt and pepper chips cost three pound eighty. That was six pound fifty. So guys, as you can see, I'm on my own. I've got no Paul with me tonight. Um, let's try this Singapore chow mein. See what this is like. I've never had this one before, so. It's supposed to be really spicy. Should have prawns in it, but I asked for no prawns. It's got a bit of a kick to it, guys. That's really nice. Noodles. It's got chilli, it's got onion, it's got peppers, that's about it for the vegetables. Normally chow mein's come with loads of vegetables, this has got no vegetables in it. Guys, when I say little chunks of meat, I mean little chunks of meat. Look at that. That's your beef. There's your chicken. But it's packed with flavour, guys. It really is packed with flavour. got no juice with it so it's obviously cooked in the wok in all the spices and everything which infuse all the noodles and stuff guys this is really really nice I'd highly recommend this one This is definitely my go-to. Now, if I want a Chinese and they do it, this will be what I go for. I mean, portion size, as you can see, that's full. And I've been eating it for £6.50. I know it's mainly noodles and noodles are cheap and all that, but
Let's try their salt and pepper chips. Frozen chips. Straight away, frozen chips. Let's sit down. Hard. Yeah, them chips are really hard. You don't get much onion and much pepper. Minute amount of chilli. Uh, chips are not nice, guys. They're really not nice. Um, yeah, the chips, they're not that they're nice. They're, uh, they're hard, they're chewy. It's enough for them, the kids can have them. But these noodles, chow mein, the Singapore chow mein, guys, is absolutely beautiful. If you like a bit of a kick, As you guys know, I like me hot, spicy food. Um, this has got a bit of a kick to it. Obviously, it's not a vindaloo or fowl kick to it. It's just really nice. It, it actually is really nice. It surprised me. Be nice if the meat chunks was bigger, but what do you want for six pound fifty? I'd rather it be like this, full of flavour, than be bland and have big chunks of meat and stuff like that. So for me, this is spot on. Right guys, I couldn't see a food hygiene rating. Um, I couldn't see one anywhere. Um, <clears throat> the staff was so nice and so polite and friendly. Um, I'm go I'm going to give the staff an eight because they was interactive with you, which I really like. That makes me want to go back to that shop um, and spend my money with them because. They're not just out to get your money. They're out there talking to you. <coughs> oh, said the frog. Um, they're out there interacting with you. Yes, they was busy. But they still took that time out to speak. So for me, yeah, it's an eight for the staff.
Right guys, so, Taste of China. Uh, in sale. Um, time for your rating. So the chow mein, absolutely beautiful. But unfortunately, I've got to do it as a meal because I bought it as a meal. Uh, it didn't come with the chips. I had to buy them separate. So I'm going to go. Eight. Just because them chips are not nice at all. Um, and the chow mein is absolutely beautiful. So guys, thanks for all your subs. Thanks for all your comments. So if you can please subscribe, comment, share. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, please subscribe, share, um, comment and all the usual stuff. We do really, really, really appreciate you guys out there watching us. Um, Cause without you, we're nothing. We're just two grumpy old men sat in a car, eating takeaways, giving our reviews. But also please remember, our reviews only count on when we went to that shop. So we, we can't say tomorrow that, that this food is going to be just as nice. All we can do is what we taste at this time. So guys, please, hope you enjoyed it. As much as I enjoyed them chow mein's. So, would I say it was good value for money? Yes, I would. Absolutely. Definitely worth the money. Um... Would I go back to do it? Yeah, of course I would. Um, next time, me and Paul can go. And Paul can give his view on it as well.